Welcome back to Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. You know, this weather has a lot of people like going stir crazy. Is it gonna rain? Is it gonna snow? Is it gonna be hot? Is it gonna be cold? A lot of people are looking for things to do inside. I know fly fishermen are out there tying their flies, making their lures, and that's exactly how Ricky Long got started with Sereno spinners. He thought one day in the middle of the winter, I'm gonna make some spinners. I've used spinners all my life. And uh, actually after I retired, I uh, decided I wanted to get into a little hobby and uh, spinners were getting a little expensive at the time. So, and I was losing a lot of spinners. So I, I, I decided I'd make my own and that's basically how I got into it. So was it an expensive venture? I mean, you have a nice little setup here, right? No, it isn't. It was, it, I mean, a couple hundred dollars and anybody can really get started in this. and. Uh, uh, it just leads from one thing to another. And so you're down in your basement and you sit here and, you're, and you're, you look like you even enjoy yourself when you're in here making spinners. I do. I can, I can come down here for hours and just bend up spinners. So what are you going to make for us today? I'm going to make one that I call the Ridiculous Rick Brass. <laughs> that's, that's, that's ridiculous the Rick Brass. Yeah. Okay. And uh, uh, then we'll do the Ridiculous, and then I'll make another one called the Ridiculous Rick Magnum. It okay. just adds a little color, which I really use a lot for rainbows. Okay. Let's get started. How sure. do you get started on this? Okay. First thing I do, I always take out I get my, my wire, and I already get them looped because it saves me a little time. I can bend a loop, but I, I buy them looped already. Okay. Basically, I take these little clevises are the first thing to come out. These things are tiny, so you take a clevis, brass number two, on the spinner. So the spinner blade is already on. It's already on. Okay. Then I add a little 3 16 brass ball. And then my body is a little heavier. It's a third of an ounce. And that's what I make this. And that's basically the spinner body and okay. blade. Yep. And then I'll have to bend her up. Oh, I see what you're doing here. And then I use a number 10 hook. I Tre like treble, right? Yes, treble. And I like a little bit smaller hook because I found out using a smaller hook on my spinners, you don't get snagged as much because it's, it's basically a little bit smaller than your body. And uh, you don't get hung up in the bottom much. And now you're just finishing that. And you just um, finish up that loop. And you got yourself a ridiculous wreck. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so Ricky said you're gonna make two. What's next? Sure, I'm gonna make one, what I call the ridiculous wreck magnum. I just added a little color to this one because I found out that, uh, you know, you add a little color, I seem to catch more rainbows on the, just adding that little pink ball. All right, well, let's get to it. All right. So, like before, right? Yep, Tell just me what like you're before. Doing here Take the clevis. And then we'll put the clevis through the blade itself. And then you take the wire, put her through the clevis. Okay. And then what I do, I always add my brass ball first because that, uh, you gotta have that metal against metal to get a good spin on a spinner. Okay. Then this is a five millimeter pink, it's called bubble gum. Okay. And then I add, I'm seeing what you're doing here. Then I just add the same brass body that I did as a, on the Ridiculous Rick. And it just adds that little pink color, which uh, really works on the rainbows. Okay. <laughs> We're ready for the hook. A few bends here. Same size hook, right? Same size hook, yeah. And, and I do, I basically use, the only time I, I, I do fool around with some steelhead spinners I, I make for myself. And I do use bigger hooks and, uh, you know, for that type of spinner. But 
But all my trout spinners, I use a number 10. And then there's the ridiculous Rick Magnum. All right, let's put that next to the other one. Let me see <laughs> both of them together here. The first one's a ridiculous Rick. R ridiculous Rick and a ridiculous Rick Magnum. <laughs> That's awesome. So there you have it. What a great guy. Thank you. And Ricky, you know, we put you in the worst situation to go fishing. The last couple days of the season, that kind of deal. I look forward to fishing with you when the streams are loaded. We're going to have a blast someday, I promise. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back. <laughs>